SCP-054, object class, safe. Subject is held in a watertight isolation room, outfitted with specialized climate control equipment. An ornate fountain filled with water stands in the center of the enclosure. Maintenance personnel are required to wear NVC suits while inside the containment area. You must spend 10 minutes in a special giant room after exiting. In the event of a breach, the surrounding area will be evacuated in the enclosure flushed with liquid nitrogen. The fountain's chemical levels and volume are to be monitored and maintained. Spring water from blank should be used at SCP-054 as SCP-054 is highly sensitive to hydrological conditions. SCP-054 has developed a mistrust for human males during its confinement. Thus, assignment of female personnel is recommended. Out of the water, the subject Oft, most often appears to be a female humanoid with a mean volume of 90 liters comprised entirely of water. Other forms are possible, highly commonly geometric shapes. When it enters a body of water, it becomes indistinguishable from its surroundings. The subject must periodically return to a body of water to maintain its volume due to evaporation. Initially found in blank, it was moved to site 08 for further study. Subject was initially curious about the Foundation personnel and seemed to enjoy interacting with maintenance staff and researchers and mimicking their forms. After a number of weeks, the creature apparently felt comfortable enough to remain out of the water during routine monitoring, though it retreated when attempts to were made to study its composition. SCP-054 is apparently composed of normal water, with no detectable differences compared to ordinary spring water from the same source. No thermal, electromagnetic, biological, or other phenomenon has been detected in its body that would suggest how it animates. Water lost by SCP-054 to evaporation exhibits no special properties when condensed. Experiments with SCP-054 were halting, halted falling blank Two researchers injured. After this incident, Containment protocols were updated. Subjects thereafter exhibited signs of mistrust and aggression around male personnel, which made up the majority of original research staff. Subjects were classified as Euclid. Partial transcripts. Audio trans Audio journal 054-A. Water loss experiment. Subject becomes withdrawn and inactive when denied access to water. Its compact shape is theorized to reduce surface area of exposed to evaporation. For the first few days, it moved eerily to greet someone entering its exposure and behave excitedly. Possibly indicates understanding by the subject that we control its access to water supplies. Subject ceased its behavior yesterday, presumably in recognition that no help was forthcoming. Temperature extremes testing. We got authorization to attempt sub-zero testing this morning. The subject became lethargic as the temperature fell and froze completely after a blink. Spectroscopy, spectroscopy of the ice crystal revealed no abnormalities. Uh, ice chips were collected for study in stark contrast to its behavior in the 95 degree tests when it became aggressive and attempted to escape its enclosure. We submitted a work, a work order to combine the climate control equipment with the subject standard enclosure as it has begun to resist efforts to transport to experimental chambers with increasingly desperate behavior. Memory and conditioning evaluation. Subject has proven unexpectedly adept at navigating complex mazes and solving puzzles. Dr. Seskel has finally overcome the problem of motivating the subject at the by the application of electrical shocks and or silica desiccants. He joked that we should have trained it to fetch in no time. And after his methods, I think he might be right. Subject is allowed a 48-hour recuperation period. It seemed to be lagging in its progress by the end of the week's experiments. Acid slash base incorporation experiments. Last log entry. I'm starting with uh, 05 M. Oh, by half a mole of hydrogen chloride solution. I have no idea what will happen, but if this thing incorporates hemostatic mechanisms, like I suspect, then we should get some insight into how it maintains its form. Temperature in the enclosure has been lowered to 
278 Kelvin to help control 54's increasingly erratic behavior. After five years with no incident, subject rating has been downgraded to safe on recommendation of Dr. Blank. Experiments will resume under the auspices auspices of biology unit E7. Caution should be exercised when interacting with the subject.